Hey YouTube, it's Carla or Changing56 and today is September the 21st, uh, 2015. And I have just a few minutes before I have to go to a meeting, so here I am in my car making my video again. It's been a while since I made one and I promised Rosemary last night that I'd make one. So here I am and I, ha I have a list of things um, to talk about. I think the last time I came in, I was talking about my allergy testing and what I was allergic to. Um, yeah, I'm allergic to everything, eggs, pork, tomatoes, peanuts, soy, um, gluten, and I've been trying to do without those things. And, you know, it, it's like eating is, I'm really trying hard, um, but, you know, it's not exciting. Um, it's just not and I'm still getting sick so I don't know you know I really don't know what to do I've, I've made another appointment with somebody else and in the meantime I've gone to see a dermatologist I've had this place on my arm for years and years and years and people have looked at it and you know nothing but anyway the last time I saw my PCP he said I think you really need to go have that checked out so I did, and long story short is it's um, squamous cell carcinoma, which, you know, it could be worse. Um, it's pretty much superficial. She took a scraping and did a biopsy with that, um, and she will have to go back and um, take the rest of it. But it, like I said, it's superficial. Now, I'm not really excited about that because the thing, because I'm on blood thinners, I she cauterized it but I still bled and bled and bled and bled and bled and bled but I'm not going to do it for a little while and I'll explain that in a minute um, I also had three places on my back one place was benign two were precancerous but she got all that with the with the biopsy area that she took on those they were moles that were back there many years of stupid young um, before people knew about skin cancer and SPF and you know sunscreen and all that stuff you know I, I'm very light complected and when I was a child and a teenager I wanted to stay out as long as everybody else did and I, I got burned a lot so you know lesson learned or hopefully other people can, will learn you know it, it doesn't pay um, and there I mean you know people did you, know, you wore copper tone and people put on uh, baby oil and iodine trying to draw the sun. I never did that because I did. I was smart enough to know I was burning. But anyway, I'm okay. It's going to be fine. Um, they wanted to do it next week, but I will be at the beach. I'm so excited. I'll be at the beach. So it's going to be done um, the week after I get back from the beach. I am going to the beach um, with a friend and a couple of cousins. My aunt died earlier in the year and... Uh, her daughter is basically taking us to the beach with she says it's her mom's gift to us And so we're calling it Grace's gift. That was my aunt's name And uh, she's paying for the room and we're just paying for you know food and gas. So it's a great deal I've never um, stayed at the beach for a whole week before I'm staying from Saturday to Saturday I'm so excited and I so need to get away work has been a little crazy lots of things happening um, plus the neighbor next door is bipolar and she's been in a manic state and long story short she finally uh, admitted herself today for uh, rehab I think she's been off of her uh, medicines so she will be in rehab for 21 days and get her straightened out but I've been dealing with her plus you know my folks and um, so it's just been just been a little crazy, but that's okay. That's what I do. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm looking at my list. Um, of course, I've got on my Alabama gear. I'm going to my group tonight called the Crimson Ladies. It was a sad day in the state of Alabama Saturday. Auburn lost and Alabama lost. So I'm a sad girl. No, I'm okay. It's football. It's a game. But I do love my Alabama football. Y'all know that. Roll Tide. Um, so, uh, my biggest thing right now is packing and getting ready to go to the beach and I've been delivering 31 um, the bags that I sell uh, 
So I've been doing that today, and I have my meeting tonight, and I have a little list of things that I have to do every day before I leave. Now, the sad thing is, the girls are going to have to go to the dog hotel, and they don't know that yet. Well, I did kind of mention it, but I don't think they've uh, figured it out for sure. Um, and they'll have to, they're going to be there a while, but they'll be fine. They'll be better off there than they will anywhere else. So, okay. So, the beach, my skin, um, my allergies, these are my list, um, beach, water, oh yeah, Rosemary's video was about drinking water. I'm really struggling with that, so yesterday I did fairly well, today not so, not so well. I'm really going to have to, you know, just strap down and start drinking the water. And like I said, I made an appointment with uh, my dietitian to see what we can come up with with some kind of, you know, something where I can eat, you know, have some kind of variety. Uh, right now, I'm still just, I'm basically eating yogurt, and that's it. Some meat, and that's it. I can't eat eggs. I can't eat pork. I can't eat peanuts. I can't eat tomatoes. You know, and when you say eggs, that involves a lot of stuff. When you say soy, that involves a lot of stuff. And gluten, you know, I, no sugar, no gluten. So, I, I have planned the menus for um, the beach. We're going to go out several nights. Everybody get, gets to pick a place. And then I'm cooking. Everybody wants me to cook. Uh, now, I have a cousin who's had gastric bypass, and I've talked to you about her before. It's, she's the one that's taking us on the trip. She's had um, pancreatitis, and she's just sh she had regained, but now she's lost all the regain, and she's smaller than she was before, and she continues to lose weight because she's not eating because it hurts so bad. And her surgeons told her to eat protein, eat protein, eat protein, She's having a hard time with that. So, um, think about her. I've tried, so I'm trying to do some things for her. Plus, the other cousin that's going does not eat meat. Now, she's not really vegan or vegetarian. She just does not eat meat. So, I'm doing some things with spaghetti squash, some things with lentils, some things with beans. Um, I'm going to make a pizza with um, a cauliflower crust. So I'm I'm going to do some things for both of them to help both of them, uh, and it'll be good for me too. So, excited about the beach. I think the weather should be great. Um, I, what can I say? You know I love the beach. So, we're going Saturday, and I'll try to do try to do an update from the beach. I'm not making any promises, but I hope you all are doing well. And I hope you have a great week, and I will talk to you later. Go out there and just do it. Bye!